Okay, question in front of you, basically we're going to be answering today, is what topic? It says it in part A. So read part A. What's the topic? Dynamic programming. Dynamic programming, yeah? Now, dynamic programming basically relates to all the topics we did at D1. Which topic does it relate to at D1? Dijkstra's, yeah? What were the problems with Dijkstra's that we basically had last year? Well, first of all, what's the Dijkstra's doing? Works out the shortest distance. But it can only work with positive values. positive values. As you can see from our wonderful diagram in front of you, what are the majority of these numbers? Minus Negatives. So we can't use Dijkstra's. But we can basically still do the same uh, topic by using dynamic program because we still want to find the minimum. So you notice we're highlighting minimum weight and dynamic programming. But how do we construct it? Now, with Dijkstra's, you did all the working on one big picture. We can't now, because basically they tell us how to answer it. They say, from the table, figure four, which you'll have in front of you, which I've put on the boards. Now, there might be a slight difference, as we can be curved with. <coughs> you can draw your own table, or you can use the handout. It's your choice. But, effectively, it has five columns. Stage, state, action, value, and the total, which is your question. Now, does your handout have the same five? Or is anything slightly different on them? It's got four marks. Yeah. So if they call it something slightly different, you don't panic. You do whatever you want. Yeah. Again, total could be one of four questions. Now, Dijkstra's was always a minimum. minimum. What other combinations do you think we can do for basically dynamical programming? Minimum. Maximum. So that's the first advantage. It will work with negatives and it will work at maximums. It'll also come with two combinations of those. Which could be, have a wild guess? Minimum, maximum, and maximum, minimum. Yeah, so you could do a mini max or a maxi min. So the first thing to do is, in your total column, if they've not already do it, done it, write down what we do. Does your handout have total? No, no, it's got a blank. Just blank. Again, the blank should have what word in it? Total. No. Total is a generic term. Which specific cat of the four types are we doing? Minimum. minimum. Okay, so I'll put minimum in. Okay, the other difference is in Dijkstra's we would start on the right hand side and go to the left hand side. What does the question specify that we actually do? Work backwards. Work backwards. Yeah. Why you do that, Lord alone knows. Only Stan Dolan knows the answer to that because he wrote the syllabus. You can do it from left to right, but they want it from right to left. Okay, so where are we starting from? T. T. Where are we going to end up with after stage one? I, J, and K. So, on the stage, we put one for stage one. We can end up at what three letters again? <coughs> I, J, and K. Where did we come from? So when you, get, when you basically do an I, where did I come from working backwards? T. Where did J come from? T. And K came from T. Now you've probably got grey boxes on yours. If you draw it just the same, you would put dotted lines to show there's three separate states that we can get to. Yeah? What are the numbers on the lines? So the value for this I, T, if you look at your picture. Minus a seven. Minus seven. What was the value for JT? Minus six. Minus six. And the next one was? Minus five. Minus five. Now this is where it's a bit stupid, but we still have to do it. Normally, in some of the stages and some of the states, there'll be more than one way of getting them. So we'll have a choice of two numbers. Here, you've only got a choice of one number. So what's your number? Minus seven. So that moves across. You've only got one choice for the J, which is? Minus eight. It moves across. And you've only got one choice for your KT, which is? It moves across. And again, we asterisk it. This will only come apparent when we go to the next stage when there's two choices. Yeah? And you asterisk the minimum. If you do a maximization question, you would highlight the maximum. Yeah? Okay. Stage two. 
Stage two, we're now at this bit here. Yeah? What are the stages? What's the first, oh, by the way, I didn't say this last 